that she misled the American people over and over and over again. Today, our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor, Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. They mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Klu Klux Klan, and what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. As Secretary of State, I continued to rely on his advice and counsel. Robert C. Byrd led by the power of his example, and he made all of us who had the honor of serving as his colleagues better public servants and better citizens. Robert C. Byrd left such a legacy. Liberal males from Bill Maher to Bill Clinton always seem to consider themselves God's gift to women, but women who have gotten to know the liberal male are rightfully skeptical. Let me just say, nobody's perfect, but liberal men are often so toxic and make absolutely terrible, terrible dates. From their desire to take away the right to defend myself to simply failing at being a gentleman, liberal men are just not my cup of tea. So here are 10 ways to spot a liberal male so that you can steer clear. Number 10. You can spot them in their eco-friendly t-shirts with the look of do as I say, not as I do. What do you say to critics who say you go on yachts, you're traveling, and then here you are trying to get climate change? Right. Gotta get the climate march room. Number nine, you can spot them on the internet saying things like this. Abortion, abortion should be for free. Number eight, anytime you overhear a politically correct Nazi fascist, guaranteed there he'll be. Oh, and. Merry Christmas. Hey, we don't use that kind of talk around here. <laughs> Number seven, you most certainly will find them at an Occupy Wall Street protest banging drums and smelling like uh, How many drummers does it take to topple capitalism? Number six, he's the coffee shop hipster on Twitter using hashtag Bernie2016, man, yeah. Hi, can I get a regular coffee and a free pass to hang out here all day? Number five, Anything really that looked like this would be a dead giveaway. That's offensive! <gasps> Jinx! Oh, that's offensive! <gasps> that's offensive! <gasps> Number four, you can see them driving their Prius or riding their bike around town like this. All, right. All foods is corporate! I hope I get a sunburn. Uh, do, do, uh, do, 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 Number three, you can spot them splitting the check with their date. Number two, you can spot them calling black conservatives Uncle Toms. David Webb is a Tea Party radio host. He apparently gets paid to be the Uncle Tom of the conservative movement. Keep it classy. And the number one way to spot a liberal male is in front of the TV, getting their news from Comedy Central. We're going to try to talk to some people today about the media, journalists, where they get their news from. Maybe Jon Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Jon Stewart, the, the comedian on Comedy Central. So those are just ten ways to spot the liberal male. And maybe it's just me, but on a date, it's just hard to enjoy the company of somebody who thinks it's okay to kill babies and doesn't respect a woman who votes with her intellect and not her body parts. So this list does come in handy. Just saying. With all that said, I am Ellie May. Please follow me on Twitter at B L L Y S A underscore M A Y E. Follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash right right true. And please visit politistic.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and watch out out there.